what's up guys welcome back to another video and we're going to be doing the trade day results for the 21 players we have up we've got 110 trade offers to check and i did prepare a little bit of a list so we can go through it a little bit faster but as you guys can see here here are all the amount of trade offers we got just about five average for each one so once we get closer to the back uh, there's definitely a lot less trade offers so it kind of does average out but we're gonna start off with rick nash the first one and then we'll see what trade offers we get all right rick nash so i priced him for just about twenty thousand start price and he has eight different trade offers on him so let's see what offers we got so victor hedman and patrick marlow uh, marlow's about 8k victor hedman's about 11 so you're getting just about 20k which i do like uh 16.5k straight up in coins apple being five uh, not too bad as well. I like the first offer just a little bit better. Helm, Samuels, definitely not worth 20k. Landeskog, Hagelin, Skinner, Runblad. I don't even think it's worth 10k, unfortunately. Uh, Koivu, Vorchek, Eriksson, Spezza, and 1.5k. Definitely not too much on that one as well. Johnson, Stahl, Carter, and Alsner. Carter of this deal is worth about 6k, but other than that, uh, this deal isn't worth too much. So I can definitely reject that later. And we do got 17.5k in Rahanic. Um, don't exactly know if I want that offer. I like this offer in, in all honesty, so I'm going to take this offer. Enjoy your Rick Nash, and I will take Patrick Marlowe and Victor Hedman, two very solid players. So now we're going on to Chris Letang. I priced him up just for a 10k start price. His price is around there. I'm looking for just a little bit under as well, but we'll see what we get. And the first offer here is Mike Green, Steven Weiss, Voracek, and Stewart. Not worth too much, unfortunately. Bowie and 4.5. And then the next offer, we got Glenn Cross, Stafford Williams, and 11.1k. That's definitely a lot of coins right there. So I will take that offer. That is, there is no questions asked for that one. We're going to take that one. And, but we got seven trade offers, and we got a 20, start price of 25k. So let's see what we got for this player up on our trade block. We got Paperni, uh, 82 overall, team of the year. He's worth about 10k quick sell. Not exactly sure if I can even sell him if I did pick him up. So we'll keep moving on. Ryan Kessler for Sean Monaghan. Kessler is about 16k. Not a bad deal. I will delay it. A Seals jersey. We got Bowie in 8.5. Uh, I'm not sure if he's worth too much, but a Calgary Flames jersey. Blundeen. We got 14k. A blue All Stars jersey. Or, sorry, blue, away blue All Stars. And then we also got Max Domi, Landeskog, Giordano in 8.7k. Not the greatest of deals, but you know what? I will take a deal on this one. I think I will go for Ryan Kessler just because one solid player, one, just straight up, definitely not a bad deal. So I will take that. Enjoy your Sean Monaghan, and I will take Ryan Kessler. So let's move on now to Gustav Nyquist with six trade offers, and let's see what we get. He was one of the cheaper team of the weeks for sure, so uh, definitely not looking for too much. The first one, we got Ruin, Neuronda Huskies logo. Don't exactly need that, but I think it might be worth a little bit. Uh, Lannis Gogstall, JVR, not worth too much. Sedin, Bobby Ryan Skinner, and 1.6. Once again, definitely not worth over the quick sell of Gustav Nyquist. Uh, we got Martin St. Louis, 5.3k, and a duration. Durations are worth around 4k, so you're getting a solid 10k with that uh, right there with Martin St. Louis. 10k, 3.9, Spezza, Carlson, Voracek, and Pacioretty. Out of all deals, I think I'm going to go for the one with the consumable and Martin St. Louis. So there you go. Enjoy your Gustav Nyquist. And we're going to fly through these trade offers. So going on to the next one here, we got Alexander Edler with 13 trade offers. So we'll see if we get anything good for this one. So Cronwall, Spezza, and Cam Ward. So Cronwall right now is going for just about 10k. Uh, with the coin, Spezza, Ward definitely adds up just a little bit. Uh, 22k and a contract. Pecorine, holy crap. That's definitely a very good uh, trade right there. Sanch and Stahl, no, not exactly interested in that. Latang St. Louis, Bacchus, we got 1.6k. Tuka Rask, holy crap, you guys are sending in crazy trade offers. I think Rask is worth around 35k right now, worth a bit more than Pecorine, with Thornton and Bacchus there too. Wow, what a great deal. Moving on, Chris Latang, Bodker. Um, definitely not as good as the last one. Victor Hedman, like we said, it was about 11k. Crawford, eh, I don't think it's worth 10k, so I'll delay it. Aaron Ekblad and 3k with a bunch of jerseys. Not interested in the ASG version, the All-Star Game one. Ryan McDonough, Krejci. Um, that one's getting a little bit closer, but the Tuka Rask is still in the lead. 
19k Palin, yeah. Cronwall is just worth around 10k as well. And I do not think he can beat the Tuka Ras deal. So, you know what? The Pecorini was definitely solid as well. Let me just check his value. He's worth about 25k right now. But Tuka Rask is worth around 35. So, I will definitely take that deal. Enjoy your Alexander Edler. And I'm pretty sure I know who sent that in. But I'm not going to make any assumptions right now. But thank you for whoever sent that in. And now we're moving on to JVR. JVR with five trade offers and he has a start price of 45,000. All right, I'm not exactly sure if he's still worth that much, but we'll definitely have to check. My controller just unplugged there. Give me one second while it reconnects. Come on, there it is. So JVR, five trade offers. Let's see what we get. Starting right off the bat, Missian. Wow, that's a very good trade. I'm not exactly sure how much he's worth, but I'm definitely interested in that. Wayne Simmons, the Wayne Train Simmons in 8.5. Uh, we also got Barkov, very interesting trade offers. Uh, Dougie Gilmore in 23, not exactly sure how much Gilmore is worth, but I can't imagine too much. As well as uh, Chris Russell, I think his first name is. Russell, 89 overall with a 10k coin uh, offer. Don't exactly know which offer. I want to check the value of Missy in first, so let me check the value and I'll be right back. Alright, so we're back with JVR, and I just checked the value of Missian, so I don't exactly have the values written down for silver players, but I figured out his value was just around 50,000, and he does have a, he's fully boosted too for 16 games. Oh man, I might just be using him, I don't exactly know yet, but Wayne Simmons, Barkov, not sure how much he's worth, but I can't expect him to be worth around more than 50k. Dougie Gilmore, once again, a fair offer there. Russell looks like a fair offer, but... Missing is the one that interests me the most, especially with all the training on him. So there you go. Enjoy your JVR, and I will definitely take Missian or Mission, however you want to call him. All right, so next up, Kyle Turris. And we're just about to go into the really expensive players, so I want to get rid of Kyle Turris as quick as possible. 16K and a Montreal changed or Montreal Canadiens jersey. Not too interested. Tyler Sagan, on the other hand, that is a very good deal. We got a message from someone. Let's just quickly check. We got Weber. Uh, when are you checking trades? How is the trade day going to work? I'm doing the trade day results right now. 15.5. Yeah, I'll, you know what? I will take Tyler Sagan. Sagan's value is worth around 21 to 22k right now. So for Kyle Turris, that is a solid deal. Enjoy your Kyle Turris, and I will take Tyler Sagan gladly. So, we're moving more into the expensive players now. Now we're going to go on to Patrick Kane. Kane with 12 trade offers. All right, so let's see what we get. The first offer is Morin and 116,000. So I took a look at some Patrick Kane's in the market and there's about seven or eight in the market now. So when I bought him, there was only two, which is pretty funny, but we'll keep going here. Jeff Skinner and 50 coins. Got a lot of troll trades here, 116. John Tavares is not worth too much anymore. Uh, let me just check his value. It is only worth about 80K, so don't exactly need him. Pecorine, Jamie Ben. Marlowe, Krug, not going to add up to Patrick Kane's value. Uh, Pavel Bure, he's worth around 125 so that's a pretty solid deal for Patrick Kane. Uh, Vlasic, Bickle, Smith, and Regan, Regan, I don't exactly know how to say his name. Rain, 4K, uh, no thank you for that one. Uh, Corey, Perry, Carter, Sharp, and Bufflin. Uh, Perry right now is going for around 80k, so with those players, you're just getting about 100 so not the greatest of deals. Krejci, Latang, Anderson, Mr. Baldy, and Richards. Uh, don't exactly need those players as well. Not going to add up to Patrick Kane's 120 to 130k value. Eric Stahl, a solid amount of pucks, but once again, just not good enough. Uh, Matt Duchesne's worth around 60 right now. Petrangelo is worth around 25, so you're getting about 85. Bergeron's going for around 23, so you're getting about 110 around there. 105 to 110. And then Kanze Kopitar... You're getting just about an extra uh, 28k there. So you get about 130 with the coins. You're definitely getting Patrick Kane's value. Like, I don't usually take four for one deals, but in terms of this deal, I will definitely take it for Patrick Kane. The Pavel Burry is kind of close, but in terms of value wise, those four players definitely added up. So now we're moving on to Ben Bishop with four trade offers, and uh, it's going to be pretty exciting. So let's see what we get. He's one of my more expensive players as well. I paid just about 189 for him. So 150k right off the bat is not going to do. Uh, skip over away jersey. We got Marion Hosa, Stanley Cup edition. I'm not exactly sure how much he's worth. I'm selling the 95 version for 275 so the 94 version. Can't expect to be way that much more expensive or that much more cheaper. So that deal is pretty good. Next up is Chara, Kessel, and Bergeron. So 
Chara, worth around 110k right now. With the coins, you're getting about 185. Uh, Kessel Bergeron, you're getting a solid 50k there. So that's about 230k. Holy crap. That is a crazy trade offer compared to all the other ones. Even though Marion Hosa is a good deal, in terms of security and value, those three players with that solid amount of pucks, I'm pretty sure it's a little bit of a donation. So thank you very much, man. Enjoy your Ben Bishop. I'm pretty sure his value will still stay nice and high. So you'll definitely have a good time with him. Anyways, enjoy your Ben Bishop. And I'll take those three players. So let's keep going here. We're back up to 107k. Alright, so we're going back on to Evgeny Malkin. I took a look at some of the values here. And Peron is not worth too much. But I'm really interested in just this second or third deal, I mean. Uh, the third deal, Martin St. Louis, get slap in 83k. Uh, Martin St. Louis is about 100, Getzlaff is around 80, so you're getting about 260k with this deal. And even if, if I were to undersell some of those players, at least I can still make 240, 250, which is absolutely insane. So that offer is definitely in the lead. Uh, this deal as well, the back, I took a look at Zach Parise's value, and right now he's going for around 150k-ish around there with Mike Medano and Max Domi. Not a bad deal, but I like the third one better just because how safe it is with a solid amount of pucks. Two solid players, so there you go. Enjoy your Evgeny Malkin, and I will take Martin St. Louis and Getzlaff. All right, so we're moving down the list, and Martin St. Louis is next up. Five trade offers on him. Let's take a look at what we got. So Cronwall and 58,000. So Cronwall's going for around 10k, so that's about 68. I can delay that one. Johansson and Hossa. So Hossa's going for around 40k right now. Johansson's going for around 45-ish. So you're getting about 85k with this deal, which is not bad, so I will delay that. Luke Robitaille and Mark andre Fleury. So, from what I'm seeing, the last price sold for Robitaille was around 20 to 30k. So you get about 90 with this deal. With the 60k pucks, you're getting about 85 to 90k as well. It's going to be a tough one. Dustin Penner, as well as Eric Lindros, Desjardins, Carlson, and Hedman. So, Lindros is going for around 45. Carlson's about 20, so you're getting about 65 with Hedman 75, you're getting about 80-ish with Desjardins, which I don't exactly like, so I'm going to delay that one. But out of both deals, I think I'm going to go for the Luke Robitaille and the 60,000 coins, just because, you know what, the Hosa and the Johansson deal is pretty good, but the thing is, Johansson's not worth too much and you're not getting coins back. Whereas this deal, you're getting at least 60,000 coins solid, and then you're getting Robitaille, which I think I can sell for at least 20 or 30. So, I will take that deal, enjoy your Martin St. Louis, and then we'll move on to the next player. So, we got three on Marion Hosa, the 95 overall edition. I put him up for 275k, and we did get a 234k uh, trade offer, I guess. But, not exactly too interested in that, I will delay it. 70k, Martin St. Louis back again, and Roman Yossi, team of the year. Don't exactly know how much he's going for, but I will delay it. As well as Peter Morazic. I think that is a 94 Marion Hosa. Yes, it is. Uh, 94 overall Marion Hosa. We got a Halak and an Andrew Ladd. So I'm going to have to do some price checking here. But after I do that, I will be right back. All right, so we're back at Marion Hosa. I took a look at some of the values here. And uh, we got a pretty close offer from what I'm looking for. Marion Hosa and Victor Hedman were the ones I was kind of iffy on selling. But uh, I'm going to reject this first offer right off the bat because I looked at this one. Roman Yossi is going for around 100k right now for just a little bit more than that. With the 70k, you're getting about 170,000. And the thing is, Martin St. Louis, I know his price is going to drop to about 70 to 80k. So that deal is about 250 to 260 in the future at least if I try to sell Martin St. Louis. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to reject this offer and I'm going to hold on to Marion Hosa for now. And same with this deal, very good offer in terms of just trying to get that plus one boost, but... Then again, just keep your Marion Hosa. I think I'm going to keep mine for right now unless I get a better offer. But Marion Hosa, I'm going to keep for now. And let's take a look at Victor Hedman who has one offer. And we got Oliver Ekman Larson, uh, Victor Hedman, and 11K. Uh, I don't think Oliver Ekman Larson goes for as much as Victor Hedman. So I'm going to reject it right off the bat. I know I'm getting a Victor Hedman back, but still. Uh, I don't exactly want to get rid of these two players right now unless it's a really good deal. And now we're moving on to Jakob Voracek with five trade offers. So let's see what we get here, and uh, we'll take a look. Jamie Ben is worth around 20k, don't exactly need that. We also got a bid of 228k, and Red Ox, don't exactly need him as well. Uh, Pavel Burry is about 130. 
uh, Mike Bossy, Gilmore, Howard, and Carlson. Not worth too much, so I'm going to delay that as well. Then we got Jakob Voracek, who's worth about 180. Zetterberg, who's worth just about, let me take a look here, 80k, so you're getting about 260 with the coins. Uh, that is a very solid deal for Jakob Voracek. I mean, uh, he's giving me basically a Zetterberg, Carter, and Gabrick. Um, plus 12k just to get a plus 2 boost, which is pretty solid. And I know Voracek Team of the Year is worth quite a bit, but the Player of the Game one's worth just as much. So there you go. Enjoy your Jakob Voracek, and I will take that deal. I, I mean, that was the better deal out of all of them, in my opinion. So, we're going to be moving on to fill the Thrill Castle here with 16 trade offers. Absolutely insane. So we're going to see if there's if they're all troll trades or what's going on here. But the first offer, Tyler Sagan. Don't exactly need him. 99 Lundqvist. Not boosted. I'm not sure how much he's worth, but I will delay that. Definitely. I'm not exactly sure how much he's worth. Next up, we got 94 Doughty as well as 92 Hoodler. Jesus. I don't exactly know which one to take here. I'll definitely have to check some values in a little bit. We got a Buffalo jersey. We got a contract. We got a logo. We got a Phil Kessel. Don't exactly need him either. Carry Price is worth not too much. I'm not going to reject it right now, but I will just delay it for now. We got Eric Brewer. He's now playing for the Leafs. Uh, we got Justin Abdelkader. Got a lot of tr troll trades here. And that's about it. And we also got a uh, All-Star Game Pavel Bure and 42,000 coins. That is a pretty solid deal. Um, I know he's going for around 230k just around there. Pavel Bury with the 42k. I'm going to have to check some values here. So I'll be right back after I know some of those values. Alright, so I took a look at some of the values. And I will check Marion Hosen in a little bit as well. But as you guys can see here, Henrik Lundqvist. I checked his value. And right now he's going for around 300,000 give or take. So that is a very solid deal. As well as this one. Uh, Drew Doughty is worth around 170k. With the Yuri Hoodler, Hoodler's about 100k, so you're getting about 270. And if you move down the list, I actually saw that ASG Burry was going for around 210 to 220. So right off the bat, this is not worth it too much. So out of all deals, I am going to take the Henrik Lundqvist 99 overall. Well, uh, we'll definitely see if I can try selling him. But there you go, Phil Kessel is gone, and enjoy uh, your Phil Kessel. I will take Henrik Lundqvist. So we're moving on to Marion Hosa. I'll take a look at his offers right now. He gave me 75,000 and the 94 overall Marion Hosa. Ooh, I'm not exactly sure. I'm not sure about that deal. I'll have to delay it. I'll give it another chance. But moving on to Alexander Ovechkin. You know what? I'm going to save that for last first. We're going to check these offers. So Marty Hansel with three. And I will fly through these. 7K. We got Miku Koiva, Richards, Marshawn, and Thornton. As well as 15. Yeah, I'll definitely take the 15 right there. So enjoy your Marty Hansel. I'll take 15k and per row. Moving on down to the team of the week, uh, team of the week players, Nikolai Ehlers with three trade offers. We'll definitely quick take a look. Uh, Philip Forsberg 1.5, 3.1k, and we got Valtteri Filipula, Bodker, and Perron. I will take the 3.1k out of all deals. I think this one's worth the most. Still, I don't exactly need to sell all those players. I don't want to sell all those players. But Merkley, let's see what we got here. McDowell. We got Landeskog, Pacioretty, Runblatt, and Johnson. That is pretty solid. 3K, as well as Mark andre Fleury, Shane Doan, and uh, Versteeg. So I will take these uh, players for that Merkley. So enjoy your Merkley. I'm not looking for too much for those Team of the Week players anyway. So I'm just kind of trying to get rid of them. We got five more. 2.4K and a couple contracts. 3K, 3K. TJ Oshi and Jakob Voracek, as well as Gabriel Landeskog and Mark Stahl. So you know what? I will take the Oshi and Voracek because I think that's worth a bit more than 3k and some contracts. So we're moving on to Danny DeKaiser and we should be only left with three players after that. We got Farrell the Elf. Don't exactly know why he's... Um, I mean, definitely not a bad offer. I'll definitely have to think about it. Tarasenko, Valtteri Filpula, Ward, and Cogliano. Steen and Dusty Bufflin. I like that deal. 7.5k, 5.4 I'm pretty sure Dustin Bufflin still goes for around 6 to 7k around there. So, you know what? Ooh, I'm not exactly sure. You know what? I'll risk it for the biscuits. I'll take that for Danny DeKaiser. So, enjoy. And I will take Dustin Bufflin and Alexander Steen. So, we're moving on down the list. And we got 8 more, or I guess 10 more trade offers to go through. And we're going to check Marion Hosa first. And I want to check the value of the 94 Hosa first. Uh, Margin St. Louis, Kessel, 34k. I think the Phil Kessel last night I checked was going for around 150. So they're getting about 180 with Martin St. Louis. 
I don't want to take that deal. I would rather take the 94 um, uh, Marion Hosa and the 75k. So you know what? I'm going to take a look at his value. I'll be right back. All right. So I'm back on Marion Hosa. And I'm starting to lose my voice too. But the first trade offer we got is Phil Kessel and Martin St. Louis. And like I said, I think Phil Kessel still go around for 145 to 150k. With Martin St. Louis, his price hasn't dropped too much. And he's still at about 100k. So you're getting about, what, 250k, I think. You can probably expect as well as 63k as well so you're getting about 310 with this deal and then moving on to that one hosa and 75k so i'm not sure how much of the 94 hosa is going for but it seems like a very solid deal as well and i'm not exactly sure which one is better because there is no more hosas on the market and there aren't any more phil kessels on the market so i'm kind of just comparing off what i like the most and if i'm going to take an offer I'm going to think it's this one out of all of them. So you know what? I'm going to reject the first one first. And then we'll keep the second one in my uh, inventory just for now. Or in my trade block for now. And we'll see if he sends in another counter offer. So we're going to move on to Alexander Ovechkin now. And he is the last player on our trade block. So let's see what we get. So Brendan Gallagher, 89 overall. Uh, not exactly worth too much. We got Getzlaff and Mike Bossy. It's not worth Ovechkin value, unfortunately. This is just about 120 to 130k, while Ovechkin's worth about 500,000 right now. So I'm gonna delay it. Uh, we got also a 97 Stanley Cup Getzlaff and 65,000. All right, so that's an offer that we can look at. I'll definitely have to check his value a little bit. 426,000 coins. We got a gold contract here. 200,000 PK Subban, Shea Weber, and Zetterberg. So. Subban right now is going for around 150k around there, so you're getting about 350. Setterberg is around, uh, I think, 80k right now, so you're getting about three. You're getting about 430 with Shea Weber. Shea Weber right now is going for 85k, so you're getting about. That's a lot of coins, 510k for this deal for Alexander Ovechkin. I think that's a, definitely a solid deal. Yakub Voracek All Star Game is not worth too much. As well as Zach Parise. Backstrom, I know, is not going for too much. Just about 100k as well. Same with Parise. And Carlson, I don't think is worth about 300k. So, I think the best offer here out of all of them is going to be this deal right here. I'm not sure if the, um, I guess the Stanley Cup gets live is going to be worth 500k. But, definitely the Subban, Weber, and Zetterberg deal is worth a lot. So, you know what? I'm going to quickly check the values here. And then I'll be right back. Alright, so three players left. 10 trade offers and I think I know what I'm going to take for everybody so we're going to end off the trade day results in a little bit but first off we're going to start off with Marion Hosa and I took a look at some of the deals here Perron in 246k he's been sending me counter offers of a couple more pucks here and there but when I take a look at this deal and compare it to this one Phil Kessel's worth about 150k with the coins you're getting about 210 and then with Martin St. Louis you're also getting another 100k with this deal so you're getting about 300 and 10k so you know what that is going to be the deal i'm going to take so enjoy your marion hosa and i'll take those two players so that was a very solid deal and moving on to alexander ovechkin which i also know who i'm going to take the valley or which deal i'm going to take but get slapped bossy no thanks get slapped the 97 version there are none up but the 98 version right now is going for 450,000. so the 97 version i'm going to maybe drop it down 50k in value maybe worth around 400k so compared to the other deal, uh, lots of pucks in that one. Definitely a solid deal. But look at this deal. It's amazing. 200,000. Zetterberg, that's 280. With Weber, another 80. So you're getting about 360. And then you're getting also PK Subban there, which is worth around 140. You're getting upwards of 500k. So you know what? That is the deal I'm going to take. Enjoy your Alexander Ovechkin. And thank you so much for everybody who sent in offers. That is an amazing deal as well. But that is just about it for this trade day results let me know in the comment box below which uh players that you've gotten or which players that you traded for and i can maybe give you guys some credit as well as if i'm gonna do another trade day what players would you like to see next up on the trade block anyways that is about it thanks for watching i hope you guys enjoyed i am losing my voice i need to end off this episode so thanks for watching hope you guys enjoy and i will see you guys later bye I'm looking for you. This game mode has been reimagined, and let's go choose specialized player classes to deliver a balanced, competitive experience.
player skill and your ability to play as a team will now be the determining factor in who wins and loses. Alright, so the next team is I'm